Hello beautiful family in the light, it's Honeybee, wishing you an incredible day. Um, it's Tuesday, that's right, it's October 6th, Tuesday, and uh, what better way to share a video with you other than the airplane, it's like perfect, hours in the airplane, can't go anywhere, and there's much to share. But let's begin with this morning because it's so funny leaving, uh, waking up at 4.30 in the morning to get to the airport. Everything on time. Everything was amazing. Just, just incredible. And getting to the airport, but to board on the plane and sit on the airplane for two hours without moving because there was an extra luggage in the aircraft so with travel it's quite interesting when you've been on the road and you're from one country to another country to another country to another country your patience somehow <laughs> develops because you know nothing is by accident everything is perfectly just guided and all I can do from the Barcelona to London uh, when they announced it's going to be another couple of hours just sitting on the ground and all the connections are going to be missed. I can tell you the panic that ran through the airplane. It was very interesting and I just, I felt it all in my essence. And, and I just closed my eyes and I said, okay, angels, let's go to work. <laughs> because somebody's going to have to hold the calm energy. And I understand, I mean, just lots and lots of connections will be missed. That includes mine, included mine. Anyway, um, let's just say huffing and puffing and running and getting to London, going through the terminals, just from one terminal to another to finally get it. I knew I would just make it right on time. Somehow time would shift a little bit so I can be there and that's exactly what happens. I'm in the airplane, we have about an hour and a half left. And, uh, wow, what can I say about Barcelona? Barcelona, Nice, René Le Chateau, Lourdes, Lourdes. Uh, London, Ischia, on this trip. It's been very busy. I'm I need a little time to integrate because it's been almost five weeks and a lot has happened. A lot has happened. The alignments are incredibly strong. Everything is in fullness of where it needs to be. And it's only the matter of complete allowing and recognizing whatever, whatever is happening, it's also part of it. And are we able to accept the gifts in every way that they're showing up without questioning and without judging them? I feel it's always like this when I go on these uh, planetary work trips. I go and I come back with much more. There's a lot more that has uh, transcended. and um, But this one very different. Everyone has it, but this one in particularly. Um, it's very clear the next phase. It's like chapters and chapters and chapters have finished, and it's an actual entire another phase, which I'm very thankful to honor. I just need a few days to integrate, be with my children, and take it easy before I get on the road. Something really big coming up that I'll be sharing, which um, I'll be serving quite differently next week for the four weeks that I'll be in Colorado. Um, it's a, sort of a new area, but not a new area. It's just my, what I'm able to offer to the land would be different. And I feel that time has also come. Many of us have had other incarnations in many different places on the different countries and I feel the consciousness sometimes is very constrained that only wants to accept one way and if there are part of you that 
somewhere in your lifetime that's really awakened this is the time that it's really awoken and really comes through and it's important to honor and respect it and allow it and not question it just allow it because the mind doesn't quite understand that's certainly something that's been part of uh, my experience the last three years since I had the death experience a lot has unfolded and this very strong native tribe native energy indigenous energy and also learning about ancestor how you know there is native <coughs> inside of me which uh, makes sense with the chiefs that are working with me just honoring welcoming it because to my mind in this incarnation from Middle East it makes no sense but I can see the contribution of it I can see the impact of it I can see the um, the gifts of it and I feel it's very important to it for it to be recognized for the highest good I have met many 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 sacred indi individuals on this trip and a lot has happened leaving Barcelona <laughs> Barcelona I um, I really tasted a few beautiful miraculous things miracles are just every part of our life experience when we're staying in the now when we're staying in the I am presence and the sacred flame just being able to witness it more and more is quite beautiful and what a what an enriched time and space we're living where we can share such depth with one another such core of the infinite with another and I feel like I want nothing less than that as more and more friendships are drifting apart the ones that are more of the align like this are coming together the ones that are you know more still in the doubt or not quite that passion that feel that heart inside they're also drifting which is just so perfect because it's so needed these bonds to be set on very powerful vibration with one another. Ah, oh, there's so much I'd like to share. So much. Last night at Happy Yoga, it's a beautiful yoga studio in Barcelona. My friend Manel, who I met through Mariam, a beloved yoga in Washington DC who teaches in Nice at, at Art Yoga Studio, who's also friends with Celine. I had met him before um, on the last trip three months ago and I got to see him again. <coughs> The Kirtan is incredible. It's a Monday night, 5.45 p.m. goes to 7. It's a packed room. And uh, his voice is phenomenal, just phenomenal. And there was one particular song that one of the other musicians, Louise, began with the drum, and my entire system was like diving in it. I couldn't hold my stuff back. The voices wanted to come in, but I had to really control it because it, it, it wanted to be really loud. And I'm so honored, I'm honored, the honor that my dad could feel the deep passion of my heart and he signaled to me to come join them, to chant with them. And there was this part of the native that wanted to come out. And it was so beautiful. It was so perfect, beautiful. I look forward to being able to play with him again and meeting Louise again, organizing a shamanic meditation and yoga together on my next trip. There's so much happening. <laughs> so many plans returning back to Nice, returning back to Barcelona, going to Rome, teaching. And that's why, like, for a little bit, I'm um, looking into moving to Europe so I can just take care of bunch of different uh, classes that people are requesting so what's also very interesting is when many many individuals they say oh wow you do this for a living cool and of course I say I'm honored 
And I feel that what is often not recognized is when it's soul's mission, when you are serving your mission, what you agreed here to be of service, there's no question, there's no doubt, there's no, there's none of that. It just is. And you begin to really, when you say yes to it and you let go of everything, you really begin to see how the entire team, I call them team above and team below, begin to work with you. It's quite remarkable. I had the, I had a very wild experience in Barcelona, visiting a friend's house that I mentioned uh, on Facebook for dinner, and this was a very, very old uh, part of a palace behind a cathedral that, um, from 1600, it was, it was built, and they had kept a lot of the furniture. Everything was the same, including the, the paintings. There were so many ghosts and spirits there and many other things. And, and uh, Mikhail and I went there and that was a really powerful experience, sit, sitting in the presence of that much energies and, and hear what they're saying and, and also to find out the place was a place where the notorious serial killer in Barcelona in early, late 1800s, lived there. And as I was hearing this, it was something very interesting that was happening. I could feel and see all the other dark energies sitting right there on the field, just waiting, waiting to see if split of a second I would go into fear. And I was witnessing all of this while I was hearing this story. And I just, inside of me, ask Archangel Michael to assist a little further, and I ask the team to increase the light a little further, because we've been asked to bring the light to areas that are very dense, so the energy can transform. And there was a gentleman there who, let's just say it was opposite <laughs> than what I'm presenting. And boy, that was quite interesting, being right next to him and finding myself compassionately just sending love to him. Quite, quite the experience. It was very profound because what's coming up next when I go to South America after Denver. So, oh my gosh. I'm a little vegan sandwich. I don't know which one this is now. The vegan sandwiches are not very good on there. And um, wishing you guys well. Wishing everybody's doing really, really amazing. You're hanging in there with the ascension energies. All the alignments. I'm trusting you're well. I had some powerful insights about December and where I need to be. So I'll be gearing up for that, going to preparation again. But all of my love to you, beautiful family in the light. You're sacred. Your energy is sacred. Your heart is super sacred. That time has come for you to fully radiate your divine light, not holding back, being very humble and accepting of your divine essence, your true energy, your wholeness, your beauty, your magnificence, and your grace. And knowing all is really divine, and you're here to share your higher dimensional energies, your true nature here, taking care of, amazing care of all your bodies, honoring it, and sharing it where it needs to be shared properly. So aho, namaste, in la kesh, panura esh, house house, until we be